Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV Channel. Man, I got got a really special video today. This camper here behind us. Uh, I done a done a whole rubber roof coating on this. Uh, the customer just showed me the receipt was October of '09. Uh, it's pretty 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 long time ago. So that's uh, 12 years ago, and. Uh, so I've been wanting to see this roof for a long time. So I'm really excited. Uh, she's actually got some leaks. So I'm gonna go up and see what is going on with this roof. Uh, I don't remember which coating I used. I think I can find it. And I will put a, I'll put a link or a picture or something right here to tell you which one I use. There's a, there's a plethora of those, uh, you know, the whole rubber roof coating things out there now. Um, I don't know, good, bad, or indifferent. You know, I don't, I don't know, but I know this one has held up for a long, long time, and I'm really excited to go up and see what's going on. So, let's get started. All right. Well. All the coating I put on there 12 years ago is totally gone. Especially on the front here. Know, it looks like it held up there in the middle. But this stuff, I mean, I don't think that stuff's designed to last forever. Uh, I kind of think it's probably, it's probably kind of what it looked like when I done this. Uh, 12 years ago. There's all of our problems over here on that corner. Uh, I'm gonna jump up here, see if it's uh, strong enough to hold me. And uh, we'll do some walking around. All in all, it actually looks pretty good. All but this corner. This corner over here has totally failed. Yeah, this, 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 uh, this split a long time ago. It's probably been like this for a year or more. That corner's opened up up there too. We're gonna have to see if we can do something with that. That corner over looks pretty good, don't camera. Yeah. I am actually pretty impressed that this roof, because I remember this roof, I was a long time ago, but I remember it just being like almost completely black. It was wore completely out when I put that coating on. Yeah, man, this is, geez Louise. Actually, I'm a little more solid than I thought. Uh, That was probably Dicor I put on there 12 years ago. All right, I am going to use James's favorite stuff on here. I'm gonna try and put a little eternal of bond on this and see if we can patch this up. The customers would like to to get this season out of it at least. They don't wanna they don't wanna spend much money on it, so. We're gonna put some Eterna Bond tape on this and a little bit of die core here. We're gonna try and try and find something, put a screw in here, to hold this corner down, put a little more die core on it and see if uh, see if we can get them another, uh, see if we can get them the rest of this season. And the, this is the corner that's most exposed to the sun. And this camper has been, this camper is set right here in this spot. 99, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's 1990. Yeah. And I've got the picture of it sitting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 90. It's a 1990. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. Customer just informed me this is a 1999 model I camper. I this was taken, but they didn't see it. Yeah, and I did the roof. You know, 12 years ago. So. It, it's it's held up pretty well. Like I say, it's been sitting right here for a long, long time. 
Maybe they also, this corner is taking the brunt of the uh, sunshine. So I'm gonna to try and hold this corner down so I can put some die core on this. I'm going to shoot a couple four inch deck screws in here, see if there's anything in here at all for a screw to grab a hold of. Sometimes you can find something with a four inch screw. Oh yeah, did you see that pull down? So we can put some die coil on this corner now and it'll, it'll hold. Because if you watch AZ Expert, he'll, he'll explain to you how if this stuff's loose, you'll never, you'll never seal it. So go watch his video. So I got some 12 inch wide Eterna Bond here. That's a, it's always a favorite of James's. But I don't, I really don't know what else to do here to try and patch this thing up just to get these folks through. Uh, this is the only thing I know of to do. Did I mention the customer knows it now is not the customer that I did the roof job on either. It was a different this is the original owner. So I'm actually just gonna kind of lap this over the side. Uh, just because we're just trying to patch it up. So I'm gonna mark basically where this is going and I'll clean this roof real good. Eternabond makes a special cleaner for, it says Eternabond on it. But I'll tell you what, it smells just like uh, advanced autos brake cleaner so i just been using brake cleaner because it's like a third of the price of the of the eterna bond cleaner but yeah for whatever it's worth i don't know i'm sure somebody will comment and tell me how how bad an idea this is but it works for me just about wiping the rest of the white off y'all watch don't get don't let me spray you to wipe on it too hard <laughs> all right let's get start putting this turn it bond down fun part a lot of times getting the uh, getting that clear stuff off of the uh, off the turn bond getting it started I got it. All right, let's get this all lined up nice, as nice as we can. Working on there. They're working on the paint there, I think. They're working on the paint. What activates Eterna Bond is pressure. So you really gotta you gotta roll it on with as much pressure as you possibly can. And I just use this little wheel that I bought at Lowe's a long, long time ago. So when I bought my first Eterna Bond, uh, they didn't sell a roller. And I'm like, well, that's silly. You have to roll it. But they didn't sell one. So I went to Lowe's and bought this. It's, uh, it's door parts or something. We're just gonna roll this on as best we can all the way around.
just really do the edges good. Do it all good, but like right here, I can't do that because there's nothing there. There's nothing to roll it onto. In all these black places that's where it was laying on the roof just now <laughs> it's pretty crazy how, uh, how oxidized this roof is all right that's about all we can do yeah there's the rag i cleaned it with not only is the white coming off the black's coming off too i took the upper brace off the awning so i could uh get uh get the eternal bond over the edge so i'm gonna put the awning the upper rafter back. Just put a little bit of die core on those where those screws are gonna go through. Seal those screws. Why don't we just take the swing? All right, we got our turning bond patch on there. We're just gonna put some die core up on this corner here, see if we can help it any at all. Well, there you have it. Yeah, a 1999 model camper that I did the roof on in 2010, right? 2009. 2009. Um, so. Like I say, that stuff ain't gonna last forever. So I think it held up pretty well. Uh, it got, cause like I say, that roof looked probably just about like that as far as the, the white gone. Uh, the best I can remember, that's probably what it looked like when I did the roof coating. So got them another 12 years. Um, that roof failed up on that corner, but like I say, that's the sunny side of the camper. It's been sitting here in this one spot, just baking all these years, never covered. And uh, so, you know, it is what it is. So. Uh, what did you think of that, Cameron? It's pretty impressive how long that coating lasted. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I've really been, this is the first time I've been back up on this camper since the day I did that roof. So that's held up pretty well. So, hey, me and Cameron, we're going to go fix another one. And uh, y'all have a fantastic day. Uh, yeah, you can do better than that. <laughs> oh. What? I had so much faith in you. And you let me down. Golly, Billy Bob. Yay. Yeah. Either direction will be fine. All righty. Not an issue. Do it all the time. Okay. You and that ladder today. What you talk, what uh, hmm, what am I trying to say?